Welcome back guys and today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different now We're returning to one of our houses on the original highway hauling map We've got our first gen right here And what we're gonna be doing first is we're gonna be taking it to the garage Outfitting it a little bit getting our camper in the back and then we're gonna hook up a trailer behind it Grab an ATV and then head out to well head out to the campground and see if we can find a pretty good campsite To uh, to hang out to spend the night. So without any further ado, it's really early in the morning right now it's about what is it right now like 6 20 6 30 in the morning so let's fire the truck up get into the shop get it outfitted and then let's go camping it sounds so good it really does sound so incredibly good now interestingly enough I haven't really hung out at this particular house in a very, very long time. I ended up moving on to another house that was further down the road, uh, down to the left. And then after that, I ended up finding another house, and actually multiple other houses, in a whole nother, uh, whole nother area. So, you had to go through, you know, down onto the, down onto the highway and, uh, make a left, go through the tunnel, that kind of thing. But it's been quite a while since I've been back here, and I really do like this area. I like this area so much, and there really is so much to like about this area in general. So let's go ahead and make a left right here into the garage. We'll just make sure nobody is on the way down the hill, because if somebody's on the way down the hill, we're in, uh, we're in some trouble. Now, jumping into the garage, let's go ahead and get on inside. And I'm thinking that I want to leave the standard engine in there. Nothing too crazy. Six-speed gearbox. We're fine with that. And I'm thinking that I want the stock tow suspension. That way, we can leave the 37s on there. I'm thinking I might run probably a 37-inch BFG KO2. Don't need anything too crazy, but it's definitely nice to have. And I don't need the gooseneck hitch either. But what I will be doing is I will be taking the rear bumper off to make the camper a little bit easier to install. So we're going to go ahead and have, uh, have the guys go ahead and put that in. And then grills-wise, we're going to go ahead and black that out. It looks a little bit better that way anyway. And let's see, badges and blacked out trim because I really do love the way that looks. We don't need the extra weight. Um, I'm not going to worry about the tailgate, obviously, because there's nowhere for the tailgate to go. And tail lights, again, not really going to worry about that. We will be blacking out the front bumper and we'll leave the black American Racing wheels on the truck. Now, I'm thinking I may leave it red, but at the same time, because I didn't come here for a repaint. I came here just to put the camper in the back, but at the same time, if they're offering me a good deal on a repaint, I suppose I'll take it, because the blue looks amazing. Now, at this point, it's time to go ahead and find a, well, actually, we need a trailer hitch that is compatible with the camper. There we go. And then that's, we've gone ahead and done that. And so now we can head down to the trailer store and get this rig equipped with the trailer that we're going to want for hauling one of our ATVs behind us. All right, we're good there. Let's go ahead and get you hooked up and see it leans just a hair forward still, but definitely not enough to where it would be a problem. So let's grab the RZR. And I kind of want to color match it to the, let's see, I think I'm going to leave it on a very standard setup for this. Nothing super crazy. I might do a set of, like, slightly smaller moto tires, like nothing too crazy. I'm on the 31-inch Bighorns right now. I'm going to go with the 31-inch uh, moto tires. Again, nothing super crazy. So let's throw the windshield on there. I'm not going to worry about the rock lights, but I will do the front light bar and I will do the headlights. And let's see, I think in terms of colors, we could definitely go with like a matching blue, or we could do something a little bit different. We could go with like an orange, which actually I think it looks really good in orange, and it might actually offset pretty nicely with the blue. So that seems pretty good to me, actually. I think that's going to be a really fun setup. So let's fire it up, and then now we can be on our way down to the campground area. So I'm actually going to back this up onto the trailer, because I feel like if I back it up, It'll actually be just that much easier to drive it off once we get to the campground. Here we go. Oh, easy. Absolutely, like, exactly what I wanted. Uh, it's a little bit crooked, but not so much to where it would become an issue. So let's activate the ramp. We'll bring you back down. Oh, yeah, that's, that's plenty usable. Now, I will, just for the sake of... There we go. Just for the sake of stability, I'm going to go ahead and unpack it and repack it. Uh, again, just to make sure everything is all nice and stable. So now let's get out onto the main road and head for the campground itself. 
Now, I am 99% sure I remember how to get there, so I don't think I'll be needing to use my GPS. But if I do end up needing to use my GPS, uh, I may have to pull it up on my phone because, well, let's just say this thing doesn't really have a built-in GPS. So I'm going to try to not, you know, let the trailer get a little bit too whippy or get it, you know, out of shape or anything like that. Just have a nice, chill drive down to the countryside. It's kind of like a, you know, like a rainy day out anyway, so I'm not trying to go too crazy. I do love the setup, though. The setup is super nice looking, and honestly, I think it's super realistic looking as well. It would be a lot more realistic if I would get out of the middle of the road and actually get into my own lane. That would be... <laughs> That would be an absolute, like, upgrade in terms of realism right there. All right, we got a gas station coming up here on the right. I don't need any fuel for the truck. The truck is, like, I mean, 29 out of 30 gallons. We're good on that. I will pull in and just grab some supplies, just a couple of things for the cooler. I've got one right there in the back of the, uh, back of the camper, so not too worried about it. Just ease it right on in. And there we go. We should be good. We go ahead and shut the truck off. I'm just going to run in real quick, grab a couple of things, grab some supplies for the cooler, and run right back out. And just like that, we should be good to go. So let's hop back in, fire the truck up, and we're good to go. Now, um, I ended up... Whoa. Easy. I feel like I ended up not taking a good enough look at uh, how, how tight that... Uh, that area between the gas pumps and the building was going to be. I mean, we didn't hit anything, but at the same time, when I looked at it, I was like, you know what? That's a little bit tighter than I'm, like, all that comfortable with. Let me make my way up the hill now. Definitely making sure that it's not uh, in four-wheel drive. The div lock is always on, which kind of makes it a little iffy on pavement sometimes, but again, you know, it's fine. Don't worry about that. It's all good. It's all good. I mean, it makes me have to replace my tires a little bit more often, but that ah, it's fine. <laughs> it's all good. So pretty farmland out here. Got some nice big barns and just open fields and stuff like that. Although, I look at that open field and I think to myself, man, that would be a really good place for like, you know, an ATV racetrack or a side-by-side -side racetrack or, you know, a motocross track or something of that nature. You know, I look out into that field and that's what I think. That's what comes to mind. But apparently, there's a couple of porta potties out there. Interesting spot to put those. I feel like that's a very odd place to put those because it looks just like a random parking area. It doesn't look like anything all that crazy. Ah, campground. Right over to the right. Let's go. Hopefully it's not too soggy down there with all this rain. This rain would really make for quite a quite a bit of mud, which I got to tell you, now thinking about that, kind of makes me wonder if going with these KO2s was the best idea because they're not necessarily known for their abilities in deep mud. I mean, they're a great all-terrain tire, like an all-rounder, but they definitely get packed with mud pretty dang quick. So here's hoping that the campground won't be too muddy. The trailer was getting a little whippy on me there. I'm trying to prevent that as much as I possibly can because the more that happens, whoa, the sketchier things get. All right. Camp down to the left. As long as you pay attention to the signs, you'll have absolutely no issues. Onto the dirt now. But I will say, I mean, we haven't touched four-wheel drive at all on this trip, and we haven't really need, needed to yet. So there, there's really been absolutely no reason for us to need all-wheel drive, or four-wheel drive, rather. But we should be coming up on a right-hand turn that'll lead us down to not only the campground, but there's a little, like, check-in office down there and everything where you can, uh, you know, let them know you're there and make sure that they know that you're supposed to be there. I hope I didn't miss the turn. I, I really... Hope I didn't miss the turn. I feel like, oh, there's the sign. My memory was like, was like trying to mess with me. It was like, bro, you know you missed the turn, right? And I was like, no, there's no way I missed the turn. But no, it was like, yeah, bro, you missed the turn. And then I was like, no, there's no way. And then so I'm really glad to have seen the sign just to go ahead and clarify that I'm going the right way. Nice and easy down the hill. All right, we'll get all checked in with the main office up here, and then that should be good to go. All right, not too worried about uh, uh, about that task or anything like that, but we'll pull up right here. Let's see. 
go ahead and shut the truck down so they can hear me over this, like, straight-piped 12-valve. But, uh, just let them know that we're here for, like, you know, a couple of nights, nothing too crazy, and they found our, they, they, well, actually, they found the reservation for our spot. So that's actually really, really good. It would kind of be a little bit weird if they didn't find the reservation for our spot, but let's go ahead and fire the truck back up. We'll get to our campsite. Now, usually when I come down here, I like to find one of the spots down by the river, but I believe those spots were going to be a bit taken up this time, so I'm not going to be able to head down there, so I'm going to have to find a spot on the left side of the road. I actually kind of dig this one because it's like, it's a smaller campsite, but the nice thing about my setup this time is the fact that unlike setups that I've brought here in the past with like a big fifth wheel camper, you know, those things need huge amounts of space. This setup needs like no space at all. And now apart from the trailer, which I think I'm gonna end up actually, actually backing back out of here and going ahead and getting this all turned around. So let me, I, I wanna back the trailer in. I feel like that might be a better way to go about doing this. Let's be careful, be careful, be careful. Might knock over a few bushes and run over the grass a little bit, but that's, again, don't worry about that. We'll fix their grass, it's fine. Now, let me get all situated right here. And actually, fortunately, the trailer's already starting to point in the direction I want it to. Let me ease it back. There we go. It's a little crooked, just a little crooked. Now I can just face it back to where I'm going. Okay, perfect. Okay, so what I wanted to do was I wanted to put the trailer over here, which is fine. I wanted to put the trailer over here and nope, that's not what I wanted. There we go. I wanted to activate the ramp and go ahead and get that thing unpacked. And now we can go ahead and detach the trailer. And now I'm gonna go ahead and get the truck situated where I want it. So let's back this guy up on this side of the fire pit good to go there. All right, perfect. So my spot for the night is all set up and ready to go, and now I get to go have some fun in the RZR. All right, so let's get you all turned around, and now we can just head right back out on the main road. I mean, I'm sure that they won't mind, at least as long as nobody tells them that we're using our side-by-side uh, our -side on the main road. I mean, in some states it's legal, right? So, I mean... Who knows? It might be legal here. It might, it might not be, but let's send it. Let's go. Ooh, easy. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I saw somebody in that camp spot, and I was like, uh, yep, yep, sorry about that. No worries. Ooh. Ha! This thing is so much fun to drive. Even when it's not, like, tuned, it's still really, really fun to drive. Really, like, really, like, it's, it's got, like, a little bit of, like, a, uh, it's, I wouldn't call it, like, a like a fast feeling at all to it, but it's more like, it's just fun. It's just fun to like bomb around in. And you can actually get to like take full advantage of the, like the way the suspension is designed. And not only the way the suspension is designed, but the way it's like tuned and built and everything. And the fact that you can just go like flat out everywhere you go is like half the fun. Nobody in the, oh. Well, I believe we found the outhouses. Let's, um, ooh, that stinks. All right, off we go. Yep, not gonna worry about that. I don't think anybody's camping in there. I was gonna, I was gonna sneak in there and, like, do a couple donuts, but I'm, you know what? I'm probably not gonna do that anymore. I, I'm probably gonna, probably going to value the fact that I would like to come back here. Oh, yep, nope, we're gonna do some donuts right here. Yep, yep, it's fine. Don't worry about it. What's that sign say? Let's see. $1,000 fine for littering enforced, huh? Well, they didn't say anything about donuts. They said absolutely nothing at all about doing donuts in this parking lot. So, uh, whoop, I almost stalled out and I almost hit the tree. Well, you know what? Now that we've done a couple donuts in the parking lot and we've drifted around, I would kind of like to get out of here before anybody sees us because if anybody sees us, we are, we are screwed. So we're going to head back to the truck now and uh, we're going to probably park this thing at the back of the campsite and shut it down and then, like, probably, probably end up just crawling inside the camper and going to sleep. That, that sounds like the best plan in my mind. 
Alright, let's ease my way down. Well, I say ease. I'm yeeting my way back down this road. I mean, I'm not I'm not gonna stick around for anybody to put two and two together about those uh about those donut marks in that parking lot. It's not even like a parking lot, it's just a parking area. Did I went like literally back wheels up through the freaking campground? I wouldn't uh say that's advised. Alright, there's the truck. I'll bring her back in. What side by side? No side by side here. Let's put her behind the trailer. Yep, easy does it. There we go. Right, let me go ahead and get into the camper. And now we're good to go. We're going to go ahead and take a nap. And then that's going to be that. And hopefully they don't follow our tire tracks all the way back to our, uh, you know, all the way back to our campsite. Either way, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought of this camping RP. Uh, it was definitely a little bit more on the realism side of things. And uh, if you enjoy that type of thing, then let me know in the comment section down below. And if you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. And I will see y'all next time. Talk to y'all later.